COVID-19. Don't worry about a test. Stay home. That's the advice from one of ProMedica's top doctors who says there's a shortage of COVID tests right now. 13 ABC's Tony Geftis explained. The Neighborhood Health Association is working to make free COVID testing available in low-income communities. That's why last Saturday they were testing at the Frederick Douglass Center. We're just telling people to come on out and get tested uh, so that you know for yourself and so you know to keep your household safe. So this week, getting a test may be a challenge. So many people are feeling symptoms, the tests themselves are in short supply. It's not surprising to me that, um, that as a community, we're seeing a shortage of testing just because of the amount of disease that we see. Dr. Brian Kaminsky is the Vice President of Quality and Safety for ProMedica and Medical Director of the Emergency Department at ProMedica Flower Hospital. He says right now, if you have symptoms of COVID, such as fever, cough, chills, muscle and body aches, loss of taste and smell, and any gastrointestinal distress, you should take preventative measures and self-quarantine. If uh, any one or more of those symptoms are a part of what you're experiencing, just based on what we're seeing in the community, your chances of actually having it are fairly high right now. Okay, more so than the flu. Uh, we're not really seeing much flu at all right now. So uh, although there have been uh, rare cases of uh, people testing positive for flu, uh, people who come in with those type of symptoms are much more likely to test positive for COVID. Dr. Kaminsky adds, if you have active symptoms, don't worry about a test because they're hard to come by. However, if it would give you peace of mind, this Saturday, the Neighborhood Health Association will have at least 100 tests available at the Greater Grace Christian Church on Monroe Street. There's no pre-registration required, and the test is free. In Toledo, Tony Gaptis, 13 ABC Action News. The federal government is ordering a Sandusky company to immediately stop selling a type of disinfectant over a claim of...